Woo, finally, we do have a little bit of good news coming from a media outlet who, by the way, is giving us three reasons why anybody should buy EMC stock. And I want to dive into this article because it is definitely rare, rarer to have a media outlet such as The Street telling us why we should buy EMC instead of selling the stock. So let's go over it. Three main reasons to buy EMC stock. I'm sure they're going to provide us with something we already know. EMC's financials are in great shape, right? So we already knew that because as of now, the company is sitting on more than $1.5 billion. But that is going to significantly imp imp improve, right? Because that was as of 2020 end of 2021 but since then we have so many blockbusters so many movies and so many mov movie goers and by the way some of the things that are bringing money to the company the sales were supposed to be high and are supposed to be high and are expected to be high higher than what we had last quarter so just by looking at the numbers on the sales the revenues and the financial stability of the company it's a no-brainer to buy mc stock now Reason number two, AMC's management has a long-term growth plan. And I consider this to be kind of the secret sauce of Adam Aaron's CEO because he wants to keep AMC not only surviving, but now being profitable. And that's why he's ex ex expanding, you know, the companies into so many other business lines. They want to invest in the infrastructure of this, the core business, the movie theaters. They want to pay down company debt. Look, paying down company debt, it's something that lots of investors want to look at. Because the less debt you have, the better money coming from your sales, you will be able to keep and return in the form of a dividend to your shareholders. And we all know that at the announcement of a dividend, if it comes, because right now I don't think AMC is in a position to do that, but let's just say when it comes, all right, man, if the short sellers are still heavily invested into this stock, they're going to be destroyed by that because of the false recall that are going to happen from those who lended the shares to the borrowers to begin with, all right? And then investing in mergers and acquisitions with a view to the company's future growth, similar to what they did with Highcroft and he has been really vocal about continuing to do that coming in the next foreseeable future, right? And finally, 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 AMC has meme stock power. The so-called smart money has criticized the meme frenzy that kicked off in early 2021. But more than a year later, this trend still continues and has worked and has wreaked havoc on hedge funds that bet against AMC stock. I mean, how many more hedge funds do we need to see returning money to clients, all right? Or returning to switching strategies, stop uh, uh, short selling stocks, you know, as a strategy and move on to being long or totally, totally being, you know, closing doors, all right? Just because when you bet against retail, especially in a stock like AMC, <laughs> at some point, at some point, all right, you are going to get burned. And we saw that over and over and over. But the thing is, people in AMC, the retail investors, they are not going back down. They are not selling. I mean, just check the numbers on Fidelity, on Schwab, on whatever main brokerage account there. You will see that we still have, AMC is still part of the top held stocks within markets especially in the retail space. So disregard whatever media or Wall Street wants you to believe into what, what is going on with people holding and still buying AMC, all right? We all know what is behind the, the, the main reason why our orders are not hitting the market, the lead market, the New York locations, for example, because if it does, well, this thing will literally, literally go to the moon the very next minute. And that's why they are rerouting everything. And that's why the SEC is trying to figure this out and to, I mean, by figure out, I mean, fixing this because it's a major issue. But if you compile this reason with these two above, both from a fundamental standpoint, all right, like the future of the company looks way brighter, but also by looking at how many people 
Do you know that AMC is being held by 4%, 4% of many retail stocks in the entire market? This is huge. It means that AMC comes above stocks like Tesla, Palantir, Apple, which are the favorites of retail investors. That is huge. That is huge. So the bottom line here is the fact that we have a major article media outlet such as The Street, you know, known in Wall Street, to, out, to, 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 to highlight three main reasons why you should buy AMC stock, I think it comes in opposition with The Motley Fool or some of these other media outlets out there that every single day pump articles on why AMC is such a bad investment. So maybe this will attract new investors, but definitely as an institutional investor, as somebody with big pockets, looking at the price here at AMC, and looking at this article, for example, if I was totally new to or willing to invest in AMC, it would give me a pretty good incentive into why I should buy AMC stock. But as always, let's just see how time you know goes, but definitely, I still believe we haven't seen the highest on AMC stock price, at least for this year. So 